Tuesday, the 11th of March, or wait, 14th, what do you do with Thirteenth is Friday. Thirteenth is Friday. Saturday, fourteenth. Sunday, fifteen. Monday, sixteen. Seventeen. Long entry for Tuesday, the seventeenth of March. <laughs> of twenty thirteen. Kids are gone. Feels weird. Like to have them here, they're gone. Oops. Well, that's just the way it is. Uh, mom is gone, the fam to take it back. She'll probably be back soon. She could be back, she could not be back soon. One never knows. Mom. And uh, I just woke up, it's around 7 30 in the morning, I'm making some coffee. I'm making some breakfast, and I'm considering. Who I am and what I'm doing here, usually. Um, well, today is a cleaning day, obviously. Our kids left a, a mail storm of craziness and everything upside down. And they broke my guitar, a guitar that I had fixed, you know, that guitar, a good guitar that I had fixed. Somehow it's broken, so, you know. It's just kids, and kids do that. It's okay. Part of the process of being a kid, and uh, I'm working. I'm taking care of kids. I'm taking care of my sister. I'm taking care of my mother. I'm doing, I guess, what one should be doing as a reasonable human being to uh, uh, to care for his loved ones and work and be a productive member of society or whatever. And uh, I'm also a critic of society. I'm probably going to write a couple of pontificados this morning. Uh, neither, neither fish nor fowl. I, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, looking to, to make of my life a great story anymore, a great Adventure story. Just looking to survive. Make things make sense. Because um, when you've been to certain adventures in life, like jail and insane asylum, if you just want to chill out and don't do those things too much, you want to get yourself risked. In fact, going to those places, you recognize right away that society is not your friend. Like Terrence McKenna says, society is not your friend. They want to shove down your throat their way of thinking, their way of acting. But if you don't comply, they'll fuck you up. They'll put you in jail and they'll throw you in a pain asylum or they'll do whatever to get you to comply to their view of reality. And their view of reality is usually the creation of powerful people that don't want to change things because they would lose their status or their money or their power. Like the Catholic Church is but not just the Catholic Church. I've been reading, um, I've been reading Emilio Scarraga's uh, Antigone's biography, which is, by the way, um, a biography that was written very much in his favor. It was kind of like a document of how, how amazing guy he is, and he is an amazing guy. He does some pretty amazing things, but he also is a very conservative guy that needs the world to stay the way it is. That doesn't see the, let's say, certain things, um, you know, especially 
uh, indigenous people, he sees them as inferior. It's just the way he looks at the world. I don't think he ever took ayahuasca or he ever, you know, took mushrooms. Maybe his son did. But anyways, the point is that there's a certain kind of like status quo, defense of the status quo. I don't think these guys would ever accept the world without money. The world without money, a world without jails. And jails and money are human creations. They're, they're things that we create ourselves with our mind, thinking that it's a good thing to create, you know, and then they're not. It's, it's the wrong creations. <laughs> the problem is that they don't find solutions to the problems they resolve, like trade and crime. But, in fact, money as such, and uh, jails as such, are just bad ideas that have been going on for a very long time. And that nobody has had the value of the, the strength or the vision to change them. And that's the problem. A human limitation to, you know. In fact, I suspect nobody's in charge. It's like living in a chaos world, chaotic world. <coughs> Where anything goes, really. And uh, the people that find power usually do so through violence. through crime because that's the that's the, the road to great wealth great wealth is the road to power you know, if you if you are a billionaire you have a lot more options than if you're some guy reading cards for a living in the god forsaken town in Mexico So money becomes the objective and not the solution to the problem. Because if you're spending all your time and energy on forming great wealth, you're probably not going to worry too much about changing things. You're just going to want to create wealth for yourself. That's, that's the deal there. So when you're a general pretty average guy, pretty normal human being, with a little bit of insight into the universe, the way it really is, a little bit of insight into how things really are. You do. How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you keep on living without breaking into a million pieces? Well, I don't know what you guys do, but what I do is that I focus on the little things. I focus on the simple things. You know, like, right now, the kitchen is a mess, and I gotta clean it. Um, there's debris all over the yard, and I gotta pick it up. There's a uh, the guitar that was broken, and I gotta fix it. Little things. They don't really change the world. They don't really make a big difference, but they make a big difference to me. Because when the guitar is fixed, I can play it. When the kitchen is clean, I can use it. When the yard is pretty, I can enjoy it. And that's enough of a change in the world for me to accept my own existence as valid. Now, there is obviously, in this world, great injustice. Like the Dalai Lama just posted on, on Facebook, you know, war. War is a criminal act that has been going on for so long and has so much support from so many people that we think that it's the right thing to do when it's never the right thing to do. And he's totally right about that. He's dead on about that. We fight wars thinking that <coughs> sometimes 
they make things better and they always make things more worse. Maybe the world, the universe, and reality is exactly as it needs to be for each one of us. The Dalai Lama included. Maybe things are the way they are because we're learning a, a way of being that transcends those things. You know? And it's a very personal trip. And when you involve yourself in the big picture, you can only do it as a, a lot of philosophical exercise because to do anything else is to call upon yourself the chaos a little. It's very chaotic. So, so is Emilio Scariga the right, the, the right intelligence for taking care of his money and his great uh, powerful empire, ruling all these things? No, he uses a lot of energy to do it, and that energy could be spent on introspective meditation, for instance, or uh, you know, using psychedelics. If he doesn't do that, there is no transcendent motion to change the status quo, and therefore there is injustice and evil in the world. I don't suppose that he acts in the pursuit of evil, but he does act in the pursuit of wealth. And in the pursuit of wealth, you must, at times, act in an evil manner. Because there will be people that will lose their wealth, or they will lose their opportunity to create wealth, to your particular worldview. That's a factor. That's my meditation this morning. That's my ramble this morning. That's my going on now. Uh, in my personal life, it's pretty simple. I, I got no kids. Yeah, there's a good part about it. There's a bad part about it. The good part is I can clean up the house. My bad part is I miss them. Yeah, I can play with them. They can't play with me. And uh, we all enjoy doing it. Uh, here's to you, YouTubers.